welcome back to the channel on this video i'm going to be riding the ride one up cafe cruiser as you see it right there on this beautiful afternoon it's about it's two o'clock in the afternoon and we got a temperature of about 60 degrees sunshine and on this video i want to talk about e-bike lights specifically turn signals and brake lights so a lot of times you'll get a bike with uh, I'm gonna hop on and go for a ride as we talk about it uh, you'll get a bike with uh, the tail light and the headlight and that's it sometimes you'll get a brake light but not always and so and hardly ever turn signals although I gotta say now more bikes are getting turn signals than ever before but uh i think the two important ones well all of them are important the headlight and tail light okay we're going to get those usually but let's make them bright enough so we can see and be seen and the other thing is the brake light like this bike for example i'm on now one of the things i don't like about it is and there's only a couple of things i don't like and that's it the uh, lights it has a headlight and a tail light, but no brake light and no turn signals. And the reason why I think bikes should have those is because a lot of us like riding on the road. And I don't think when you buy a bike, you want to have to buy all the accessories after you. I think you want to ride, get the bike and have it ready for the road kind of thing, right? Most of us anyway. And so I say, for safety reasons, let's get brake lights that you can see, uh, that somebody can see from behind, the drivers or other cyclists, and also turn signals, and not just the integrated small turn signals. I say make them visible enough, like they would be on a motorcycle, you know, a distance apart and completely separated from the brake light. Or tail light. Uh, I think that car is letting me go. It's hard to tell. I can't see through the windshield with the sun glaring. But uh, and the reason why I know we've got hand signals that we can use to turn left, right, and stop, and all that. But first of all, I think hand signals are far outdated now. Like they're too old. Let's get up at the times. And get some lights on our bikes and have them come with the lights you know we're, we're looking for safety and all and i think one of the things that would add to safety would be good lights and another reason why besides them being outdated the hand signals i don't like them is because you shouldn't be taking hands off of the handlebar at any time. Uh, especially when you're navigating a turn. Um, so, I mean, we have enough problems with folks falling off their bikes um, with these heavy bikes if we have to come to a stop or if we get into the left lane and make a turn. Here we are putting our hand out and trying to navigate our bike and turn signal that we're turning at the same time it makes no sense to me so let's get lights on the bikes um, and do that rather than the hand signals let me know in the uh, comments if you agree or disagree on that uh, am I overstating something or am I out of line or what do you think or do you agree it's getting better like I say more bikes now are coming with turn signals but let's make them even better where they stand out more and you can see them like don't just stick them on there and say oh yeah it's got turn signals and you can barely see them And the brake light as well. 
I think a nice visible good brake light is nice too to have so uh, you can be seen that you're coming to a stop. I mean, if we're gonna ride on the road, even though we're in the bike lane, we should still have the same things, light-wise anyway, lights that uh, a motorcycle has. Why be different? You don't see anybody on a motorcycle using hand signals. Like I say though, it is getting better. But I think we still have a long way to go. So I say yes, let's put full lights on the bike, everything. I uh, just wanted to mention that I am riding the Ride One Up Cafe Cruiser, an awesome bike, and I'm riding it in Pedal assist level three, and I'm in gear eight. It does have eight gears in five pedal assist modes. I find a, a comfortable ride is a pedal assist three. Uh, you get you can get going at about 18 to 20 miles per hour. Um, the only time uh, you'd want to go less is if you're on a bike path slash pedestrian path where you're sharing it with others and there's lots of folks around, then there's no way you'd be able to um, be in pedal assist three. I usually take it right down to one and that's fast enough. Because a lot of times you can't go too much more than 10 miles per hour, at least in this area here with, with lots of... I'm directing traffic. Okay, they want me to go, so I'm gonna go. Yeah, um, it depends on your pedestrian path or bike path um, as to how fast you can go. Uh, most of them you can't exceed 15 anyway. That's the uh, limit, speed limit. And 15 on a path though is, is quite fast. A lot of times I can't get much over 10 um, trying to get around people and um, when they have dogs or children you got to be careful that the dogs or children do not dart out because you know how they're kind of just walking around and you never know. Oh, a nice big wide turn there. Coming to a stop. Like I said, this bike doesn't have a brake light, unfortunately. You don't see that too often. Most times now they give you a brake light, but signal lights is another story. See, I'm just pedaling comfortably right now. at about 16, 17 miles per hour. I'm using about 
between 300 and 350 watts of power. All right, well, that's going to do it for this video. If you want to, if you uh, like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and uh, hit that subscribe button and thank you for supporting us. If you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And if you want to comment on this video or any other video, then go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining me on this video. And until next time, keep your wheels on the road. Catch you next time.